It's no secret that all organizations ranging from a few hundred to a few thousands to hundreds of thousands are in a constant battle between security and usability. And it's no secret that passwords contribute to this battle. On one hand, passwords are familiar and easy to deploy, but on the other hand, we know that compromised credentials continue to be one of the primary reasons for data breach. So how do you deliver a great experience for end users while still minimizing direct, uh, dependencies on directories and on-prem infrastructure? This is why we're excited to show you the use cases enabled by Okta's Devices Platform Service. So let's get started. For this demo, I'm Teju, an employee on the sales team at Atco. And I'm Nick, an admin for Atco. And using Okta's new Devices Platform Service, we now have a unified view of users and devices in our organization. And here on the Okta dashboard, I can actually now navigate to this new Devices section, where I can see a list of all the devices that have registered with Okta Verify, some of which are managed, some of which are unmanaged. And this year at ATCO, we have an initiative to streamline access to all critical resources from any device. And using Okta's new Access Policies module, I've created a couple policies to a few applications to allow for passwordless authentication for any device that is registered with Okta Verify, whether they're managed or unmanaged. So let's see the power of Okta FastPass. Teju is a remote employee based in London, and we've shipped her a Windows 10 device that is managed and pre-enrolled with Okta Verify, but it is not AD domain joined. We've also sent her some instructions on how to get started. So Teju, why don't you show us how easy it is to get up and running? Echo IT shipped me this new laptop a couple of days ago and sent me some instructions on how I can get set up. Now I've already set up Windows Hello on the device as well as a profile on the device. And of course, the next thing that I want to do is start accessing all of my applications. So what I'm going to do is start by logging into the machine using Windows Hello. And from here, I want to start accessing all of my applications. It looks like IT has already pushed down a desktop shortcut for me. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And it looks like they've also pre-configured for some settings for me, so I don't need to enter anything on the Okta Verify app here. So I'll go ahead and click Next. And then on the next page, it looks like I need to enter my username. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then to finish up the device registration process, I don't need to enter any passwords. I just need to provide that same Windows Hello factor that I used to log into the device to finish up the device registration. So let me go ahead and do that. And then once that's done, Yep, it looks like my device is all registered when I head back to this Okta Verify application. My account is there, and now I'm ready to start accessing all of my applications. Now, it looks like IT also pushed down a desktop shortcut for me, so I'm going to double click on here. And yep, I'm logged in, no passwords required, and it looks like they even pushed down a new dashboard for me. So that process was so easy that I actually want to message IT on Slack and let them know how it was. So I'm gonna open up my Slack desktop client here. It's already installed on the device, but I haven't logged in yet. So I'm wondering if I can get that same passwordless experience on the Slack desktop client that I got when accessing my dashboard. So let me go ahead and put in my workspace name here. Then I'll choose to sign in with Okta. And then from there, without being prompted for any passwords, I'm signed directly into Slack, super easy. All right, now let's prove that this was done on a non-AD join device. Teju, can you go to your computer settings? Yep, sure, here it is. All right, you'll see here that it is managed by VMware Workspace ONE with no AD domain associated with the device. And when I head back to Universal Directory here in Okta, I can search for Teju. And when I click on her, you'll notice that there is this new tab here called Devices. When I click that, I can see a list of all the devices that she has registered with Okta Verify, including that new Windows device. Now, we need to also enable this experience on mobile devices. We ship hundreds of iOS and Android devices to our global workforce. And so Teju, why don't you show us how we can get that same passwordless experience on mobile? So I have my phone here that IT has shipped to me. They're, they're managing the phone. They've already pushed down some applications to the phone. Um, but I haven't started, I haven't logged into all of these applications yet. Usually this is a very annoying process for me because every single application asks me for my username and password. So I'm hoping that's gonna be different this time. So let me open up the Salesforce application. And 
Similar to what I saw on my laptop, I'm not prompted for any credentials and I'm signed right into Salesforce. Again, really easy. So we've seen this passwordless experience on a managed Windows device, a managed iPhone, but what about an unmanaged personal device? Teju, why don't you give it a shot on your MacBook? Now I have my personal MacBook here that I use from time to time to access email and a few other applications. I've already logged into Okta Verify on this device and registered the device, but I don't want IT spying on me, so I definitely don't want it to be managed. But I do want to start sending some messages on Slack, and I've already installed the app on this machine, but I'm wondering if I can get the same passwordless experience that I've gotten on my managed devices on this personal one. So again, I'll put in my workspace name, choose to sign in with Okta here. It looks like, again, it's checking information about my device. And from there, logged right into Slack, again, without being prompted for any passwords. So to recap what we saw here, Okta FastPass enables passwordless experiences on any device, regardless of the directory or endpoint management tool that's being used. This means end users get an end-to-end -end passwordless experience, whether it's logging into the device the first time they registered their device to Okta and subsequent logins on that same device. You can also now view users and devices in Universal Directory for the first time giving admins a single console to see those user and device bindings. These capabilities help organizations modernize in a phased manner and ultimately move towards a world where users do not have a password at all. Okay, so we've seen the user experience benefits of Okta's devices platform service, but it also enables a critical component of a zero trust security model based on user trust and device trust. And here at Atco, we've configured Okta's devices platform service to ingest device context from endpoint management and endpoint security vendors to better align that user experience to the risk. All right, so the first feature that we're gonna take advantage of here is Okta's limited access feature, whereby we are going to restrict access to sensitive areas of Salesforce when that device is unmanaged. And so the first thing we need to do is configure Okta to communicate that device management state to Salesforce. And here in the application settings, you can see that we are sending a SAML assertion to alert Salesforce if that device is trusted and it should be considered a high assurance session. And then over in the Salesforce app, we have configured some policies here to block access to certain areas of the application, such as the reports and dashboards, when that device is not managed. Let's see what that looks like for Teju. So like I mentioned earlier, sometimes I use my own machine to access applications. Salesforce is my go-to application for accessing customer and prospect information. And I know we made some changes to the solutions that we offer for customers. So I wanted to start by checking that out. And then the other thing that I wanted to take a look at was how I'm doing for my quota on this quarter. So I'm gonna head over to the reports here. And oh, wait, it looks different this time. Usually I'm able to get to these reports on my other laptop but it's telling me now that I have insufficient privileges. And actually, now that I think about it, I know IT did mention that my device needs to be managed in order for me to access this type of information. Well, we'll have to deal with that later because I'm getting an email from my CISO asking me about this rise in USB drop attacks that are loaded with ransomware. And she wants to know how we're protected from this. Now, the good news is we use Tanium to protect our endpoints and using Okta's new security integrations, I've actually already configured a policy to deny access to corporate resources when that device is infected with malware as determined by Tanium. And knowing Teju, she's not gonna be able to resist the temptation to put one of those USB sticks into her machine. Okay, so I was just on a walk outside and I happened to find this USB stick. I'm curious to see what's on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my machine here and Oh, sweet, it looks like I can get some free Netflix passwords. Definitely wanna open that up. So let me go ahead and do that. And, oh wait, mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. It looks like all my documents are encrypted. I owe some people some money. I'm not really sure what to do from here, but I'm hoping that IT can help me out. So let me go ahead and go over to my dashboard and send them an email. And, oh wait, uh, it looks like I'm locked out of all of my applications and I actually just received an email from IT on my phone. They're letting me know that my device needs to be re-imaged because they found some malware on it. That was definitely my bad. So to recap what we saw here, 
Okta's integrations with apps like Salesforce and endpoint management solutions like VMware Workspace ONE allow us to create granular access policies based on managed versus unmanaged devices. And to take that one step further, we're now able to set access policies based on signals from any endpoint security vendor, such as Tanium. Because Okta's devices platform service embeds Okta on every device, we're able to minimize that battle between usability and security across our entire device fleet.